Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well. Mm. Oh, I'm drinking some Texas pecan from my Old Fort cup. Uh, Old Fort, North Carolina is where my father lives. And uh, uh, he made this mug and I actually found it on eBay. And so I bought it. <laughs> All right, today is Christ the King Sunday. Um, in the loop, I go to a Lutheran church, and uh, I know I have some Baptist friends and maybe some Methodists and some other denominations out there listening, but we, we celebrate it's uh, Christ the King Sunday, and so the Revised Common Lectionary calls it um, <clears throat> Reign of Christ, and it's proper 29 is what it is. So today, the Revised Common Lectionary um, Sunday always has a few more readings than usual, which is fine. We're going to start off in 2 Samuel, and then we have a reading in the Psalms, and then we're going to Daniel, and then Psalm 93, and then we have a reading in Revelation, and then we're going to the Gospel of John. So, let's get started. All right, Sam, uh, 2 Samuel chapter 23, verses 1 through 7. So here we go. Now these are the last words of David, the oracle of David, son of Jesse, the oracle of the man whom God has exalted, the anointed of God of the God of Jacob, the favorite of the strong one of Israel. The Spirit of the Lord speaks through me. His word is upon my tongue. The God is, of Israel has spoken. The rock of Israel has said to me, one who rules over people justly, ruling in the fear of God, is like the light of, of morning like the sun rising on the cloudless morning, gleaming from the rain on the grassy land. Is not my house like this, like this with God? For he has made me with an everlasting covenant, ordered in all things and secure. Will he not cause to prosper all my help and my desire? But the godless are like, the, like thorns that are thrown away, for they cannot be picked up with the hand. To touch them, one uses an iron bar, or a shaft, or a spear, and they are entirely consumed in fire on the spot. All right. Next, we're going to Psalm 132, verses 1. Um, I'm not sure why it does this. It says 1 through 12, and then in parentheses it says 13 through 18. But basically, it's uh, Psalm 132, 1 through 18. So here we go. O oh Lord, remember in David's favor all the hardships he endured, how he swore to the Lord and vowed to the Mighty One of Jacob. I will not enter my house or get into my bed. I will not give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling place for the Mighty One of Jacob. We heard of it in Ephrathath. 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 Hmm. Uh, we found it in the fields of Jar. Let us go into this dwelling place. Let us worship at his footstool. Rise up, O Lord, and go to your resting place, you and the ark of your might. Let your priest be clothed with righteousness, and let your faithful shout for joy. For your servant David's sake, do not turn away the face of your anointed one. The Lord swore to David a, a sure oath from which he will not turn back. One of the sons of your body I will set on your throne. If your sons keep my covenant and my decrees that I shall teach them, their sons also forevermore shall sit on your, on your throne. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his habitation. This is my resting place forever. Here I will reside, for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless its provisions. I will satisfy its poor with bread. Its priest I will clothe with salvation, and its faithful will shout for joy. There I will cause a horn to sprout up for David. I have prepared a lamp for my anointed one. His enemies I will clothe with, clothe with disgrace, but on him his crown will, will gleam. All right, get a little coffee here. Oh, that's so good. 
All right, next we're going to Daniel chapter 7, verses 9 through 10, and then 13 through 14. So here we go. As I watched, thrones were set in place, and an ancient one took his throne. His clothing was white as snow, and his hair and the hair of his head like pure wool. His throne was fiery flames, and its wheels were burning fire. A stream of fire issued and flowed out from his presence. <clears throat> A thousand, a, a thousand thousands served him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood attending him. The court sat in judgment, and the books were opened. As I watched in the night visions, I saw one like a human being coming with the clouds of heaven, and he came to the Ancient One and was presented before him. To him was given dominion and glory and kingship, that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not pass away, and his kingship is one that shall never be destroyed. All right. Next we're going to Psalm 93. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He is girded with strength. He has established the world. It shall never be moved. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring. More majestic than the thunders of mighty waters. More majestic than the waves of the sea. Majestic on high is the Lord. Your decrees are very sure. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. All right. All right, now we're going to the New Testament. Uh, Revelation chapter 1, verses 4b through 8. So the last part of 4 through 8. So here we go. Grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before the, his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ru ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and freed us from our sins by his blood, and made us to be a kingdom, priests serving his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Look, he is coming with the clouds. Every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And on his account all the tribes of the earth will wail. So it is to be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Amen. The Gospel text this morning, the Gospel of John, chapter 18, verses 33 through 37. And here we go. Then Pilate entered the headquarters again, summoned Jesus, and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus answered, Do you ask this on your own? Or did others tell you about me? And Pilate replied, I am not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not, of, not from this world. If my kingdom were from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate asked him again, so you are a king. Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world, to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. And this is the word of the Lord. And as always, the uh, Revised Common Lectionary offers a series of prayers, and um, I'd like to share some with you. So let us pray. Shepherd of Israel, hear our prayer. As your son heard the plea of the criminal crucified with him, gather into Christ's holy reign the broken, the sorrowing, and the sinner, that all may know wholeness, joy, and forgiveness. Amen. As the shepherd who cares for the flock of God, you guide all things through Jesus, whom you have exalted over creation as king. Hear the prayers we offer in his name for the creation he cherished 
and that you entrust to us. And look upon your people who rejoice in, in your justice and mercy, and grant that the prayers we make may reveal Christ's reign in our time. And Most High God, majestic and almighty, our beginning and our end, rule in our hearts and guide us to be faithful in our daily actions, worshiping the one who comes as Savior and Sovereign, and who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. And uh, I've got to go get ready to go to church. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So be happy and be safe and be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow morning on Coffee and the Word. God bless. Bye-bye.